Welcome to the PERS 4200 installation and programming. By the end of this course, you will be able to navigate the PERS 4200 console, download the RA4200 software, install the 4200 software, and program the PERS 4200 console settings. Let's begin by discussing how you can navigate the console. Navigating the PERS 4200 involves familiarity with the features on the top, bottom, and rear of the console. On the top of the console, you will find the speaker, microphone, antenna, help, cancel, and home buttons. On the rear of the console, you will find the areas where optional modules can be installed. The one on the left is for the cell, and the one on the right is for the wireless remote speaker microphone. To the left of the optional module areas, you will find both the USB programming connection and telephone line connections. At the bottom of the console, you will find the volume controls for the two-way voice and speaker volumes. You will also find the console test button and the power off button. For more information on the basic features and operations of the PERS 4200, please refer to the product manual. A printed copy is provided with each unit, and an online version is available at www.LinearCorp.com. Now that we have covered the console, let's take a look at how to download and install the PERS 4200 software from LinearCorp's website. First, you will need to log on to www.LinearCorp.com. Then you will have two different ways that you can download the software. You can either navigate to the Support tab at the top of the screen, or you can access the RA4200 installation by navigating to the right-hand side of your screen and clicking on the Personal Emergency box. For this presentation, we are going to go with the Support tab at the top of the web page. At the menu bar, navigate to Support, then Technical Documents, then click on Software Downloads. Scroll to the Personal Emergency Reporting Solution PERS box and click on RA4200 Remote Access Software.exe link. Once you click on the RA4200 Remote Access Software.exe link, you will have the option to run or save the program. Click Save. Once you have saved the software in its location, you will have another prompt coming up to ask you to either run or open the folder. Click Run. The RA4200 setup box will then open up. To begin your software installation, click Next. Make sure the checkbox is selected so you can have an icon on your desktop. Then click Next. In this section, you will want to select your system folder. Make sure that the software is within your program files folder. If you do not need to make any changes at this point, then click Install. If you do need to make changes, click Back. You will be able to watch the progress of your installation after you click Install. And once the installation is complete, make sure the View Readme box is checked and click Finish. Once you have downloaded the PERS 4200 software, you will click the RA4200 icon now located on your desktop. This is the PERS 4200 Remote Access Menu. Before we go through each of the menu tab items, you will want to make sure that your PERS unit is connected to the software. Click the Connect button. Once you have clicked Connect on the toolbar above, a Connect menu will pop up. There are three sections in the Connect menu window. The Account section and two Connection sections. The Account section includes your program password and your phone number, which is used for the remote programming only. The Modem Connection section is used for connecting to the unit remotely from another telephone number. The COM port connection section is used for connecting to the unit locally using your computer 
or laptop and a USB to mini cable. To connect locally, select ST Microelectronics COM from the drop down menu. Then click on the COM port connect button below. Note that if you don't see ST Microelectronics COM when programming locally, perform the following steps. First, close out of the RA4200 program software. Disconnect the USB to mini cable from the computer or laptop. Then reconnect. Recycle power to the PERS4200 unit. Click on the RA4200 program software on your desktop and try again. To connect remotely, enter the telephone number the PERS unit is connected to in the phone number field. Select the dial-up model being used in the modem connection section. Click on the call button below. This is the PERS 4200 remote access menu. We're going to go through each of the items within this menu by looking at each of the features under each menu tab. The customer tab provides optional fill-in fields for the subscriber information. This information will not be sent to the console but can be saved within the individual programming templates for each account, if desired. The console tab is used to configure several key settings on the unit. Under this tab, you will be able to customize many of the console features, starting with subscriber password. The factory default is 1, 2, 3, 4, but you can enter any new 4-digit password. The provider password allows the PERS provider to remotely connect to a console and access programming. The default for this is 987654. You can enter in a new six digit password, but remember, if you forget the new password, it cannot be reprogrammed and the PERS will have to be replaced. The mode after disconnect dropdown refers to what mode the console will default to once it has been disconnected. The enunciate trouble indication status with home button, clock enunciation, and phone line status are all settings that you can apply to your console to provide spoken voice prompts if there are any issues. For example, in this area, you can set the console to say phone trouble if the phone wire has been disconnected rather than simply beeping at the end user. The temperature limit settings allow you to select a high and low temperature range. The central station will be alerted if these temperature limits are exceeded. Two-way audio can be added if the temperature alarm has alerted the central station. By default, this checkbox is checked. The console is enabled with two onboard language selections. The primary language is English, which is set as the default. The alternate language is Spanish and can be selected through the RA4200 programming software. For other available languages, the language vocabulary must first be installed in the console's firmware. Use the console time button to set the internal time and date for the console. This information is referenced when using automatic status reports, reminder messages, and activity timers. For the remaining console settings, check the defaults and change selections as desired for deployment. Under the Sensors tab, you will want to insert the sensor information and type. Choose Auto Detect if you plan to use supervision for the LR series emergency sensors. Enable status reporting on the transmitter, then select the supervision interval on the console tab. Smoke, carbon monoxide, and motion sensors have a fixed 24-hour supervision interval. Under the communicator tab, the account number and the primary phone number fields must be filled out to allow the console to operate. The default reporting format is an ADEMCO contact ID. Select CID, SIA, or 4x2 on the reporting format area. These industry standard formats allow compatibility with a broad selection of central station receivers. There are secondary and supervisory telephone numbers that you can also optionally provide in this area. Under the Reporting Options tab, you will enable 
or disable the Report AC Fail feature. Then, you will select the Automatic Status Report settings. Here, you will set your speakerphone settings. Here, you will set your two-way audio mode. Here, you will set your dialing delay. The dialing delay should be off unless needed. Under the Reminder Messages tab, you can specify timeout interval and the reminder type. Then, you can select the schedule type. Then, click on the Test Reminder message. Congratulations! You now know how to successfully navigate your console, download, install, and program your new PERS 4200. For more information on the setup and template programming for the PERS 4200, please refer to the Installation and Programming Instructions Manual. An online version is available at www.LinearCorp.com.